There's a recent study analyzing the effects of binge eating and weight stigma. That is, scientists wanted to know if someone's perception about their weight, their negative perception about their weight, leads them to binge eat. We're constantly faced with this question. Are people binge eating because they feel uncomfortable about their body image? Or are people binge eating simply because they crave certain foods? They really want to eat a slice of cake or they really want to go all out eating some pizza when they're stressed out or they simply just really crave this food they're really addicted to the taste and they want some tasty pleasure the question should be centered around their health for example why would schools be motivated to give people failing grades if a study showed that people are more likely to drop out or people are more likely to experience distress when they experience a bad grade. Of course, we should avoid being mean to people who are obese. We should avoid causing them undue psychological stress. But at the same time, if someone is our friend and they're obese and we're not saying anything, they can perceive this as someone not caring about them. If we don't say anything, if we continue to let them go on the path of becoming obese, of binge eating, of eating unhealthy food all the time, even in front of us. If we stay silent while they order this unhealthy food at a restaurant, for example, we're enabling them to continue this unhealthy cycle of eating unhealthy food and becoming obese. In fact, 500,000 Americans each year die from obesity. And yet no one seems to say anything these days because they're too concerned. They're too concerned that someone will call them out for fat shaming another person. And this is of course very unacceptable in society. Nowadays in society, we're glorifying obese people. We're saying, oh great, you look great. When in reality, we shouldn't be promoting lying. Or if someone does perceive someone that's obese as attractive, that's great. But it's still unhealthy. Even if someone were the most attractive person in the world in everyone's eyes, if they were obese, this would still be very unhealthy. Type 2 diabetes, heart disease, kidney and liver failure are real possibilities. People that are obese are more likely to experience these things, things that could end their life. At the same time, we're more concerned about lessening this person's image of how attractive they are. In reality, we should be concerned about their health, their well-being. And so when it comes to discussing weight stigma and binge eating, let's not put the focus on someone's physical attractiveness. Let's put the focus on how to tell someone that they're living an unhealthy lifestyle, how to pull someone out of this unhealthy lifestyle, of course, while minimizing psychological factors. But at the same time, some amount of psychological distress might motivate someone to commit to a lifestyle change, to commit to healthy food, to abandoning unhealthy food, or to avoiding binge eating altogether. If you're stuck in obesity and someone shows a real concern for your health, a real concern for your well-being, this could be motivated for you to change your life, to turn it around. Knowing that someone cares about you enough to lead you away from a life that could lead to death, could lead to feeling physically and mentally sluggish, could motivate someone to turn their life around. And knowing that they have a friend that cares about them would motivate them to reach out for them in times of trial, in times of temptation, in times where they are more likely to go for the last slice of pizza, to stuff themselves with cake, to binge eat when they feel hopeless. And so it is great to be able to reach out to people to help them out of the struggle of obesity.